Hi everybody, this is Keisha from weblogbetter.com and today I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to create a video with PowerPoint. Um, most importantly, I wanted to show you how to do it quickly using Visual B as a design tool. Also wanted to show you how you can add audio and how you can save this presentation as a video that you can upload to YouTube. So follow along with me and I'll take you step by step. Okay, so here's a list of what you'll need. Of course, you'll need PowerPoint. I've got 2010. You might be able to use um, 2007, but I'm not sure. You'll also need a USB mic. That's preferable. Um, of course, if you have a regular mic, you know, use what you have, be resourceful. To make the design process go a lot quicker than it would normally go, you might wanna try out Visual B. There's a link to it in the blog post that goes with this video. Um, I'll also include a link at the end of this video. And even though you can record your audio directly into PowerPoint, I don't suggest that because you'll want to be able to edit it a lot easier. So I suggest downloading Audacity. It's a free program that you can find online at sourceforge.net. I'll also include a link to that in the blog post as well. So let's get started and see what's needed to create a video with PowerPoint. Okay, so you've probably noticed that I still have these uh, click icon to add picture options here on the screen. That means I haven't done anything to this, this presentation. It's totally blank and that's fine. All I'm going to do is add all of the content first and then design second. So don't worry about your template when you're first starting. The most important thing is to get your content down first and then you can go back and use this Visual B tool and add a design in just seconds really. So leave the design for last. Um, you can always go back, focus on getting your ideas down and, and the major points of what you wanna say in this video. And I just wanted to give you some quick tips about how to organize that content on the screen. You'll want to keep it simple and short. Organize your slide by all the major points you wanna talk about. Um, keep it very brief. You want short four to six word phrases no more than seven words. Um, a lot of people want to use this, this slide area for themselves so that they don't forget what they wanna say, but this is not the place for it. The, the presentation slide is for your viewers. Um, if, if you wanna have like a safety net so you won't forget what you need to say, you can always write out a script and print it out and just kind of keep it nearby so you can look at it but don't fill this presentation screen with a bunch of text. It's just too overwhelming and, and busy. You wanna keep the text to a minimum. Um, you can add pictures and everything, but don't go overboard with the text. Okay, so I wanna just take a few minutes to show you how to use Visual B for speedy design. What Visual B does is it visually organizes your content the text. Um, it also automatically adds pictures. That I love because I spend a lot of time looking for the right pictures. It just would be nice if I could just, you know, reduce the amount of time I'm spending looking for pictures and Visual B does that for me. Now, of course, it's not always going to be perfect. So if you need to, you can swap out the picture and there's a search feature that will allow you to do that quickly. Now, once you download Visual B and install it on your computer, when you open PowerPoint, you'll see the Visual B tab. So you just go there and all you do is click enhance the presentation. As you can see, it's connecting, it's doing its thing. So the first thing that comes up is this window that allows you to choose your style and they've got a lot of different styles some of them are premium so if, if you really want to make use of everything here you'll need to upgrade from the free um, the free download but um, there's there's a lot of great things here and you could just kind of browse through them um, I like this one so let's just pull that one up real quick 
it takes just a few seconds and then once it's done it'll show you your pre your presentation slides in the view on the side so as you can see it added its own pictures of course I'm going to change some of those pictures out so let's just try this one I know for a fact I'm not going to keep that one I mean the guy looks okay but he's not matching what I want you can try replacing the image just by clicking this it'll randomly choose something else as you can see it added a new picture I'm still not going to keep that I'm picky so I'm going to select from the gallery as you can see there's a search feature here all you have to do is type in you know the type of image you want I kinda like this picture here so I'm gonna go with this one and as you can see it just automatically adds her to the slide so now instead of that plain background I've actually got a design and it only took me a few seconds. I didn't even have to go and find this picture, it just automatically pulled this one in for me. So now let's talk about how you go about adding audio to these slides. I've added this screenshot just for quick reference. In PowerPoint, you'll just go to the insert tab here and then you'll go to audio. And as you can see, there's some different options. You can add audio from, from a file, which is what I suggest, or you can record audio directly into PowerPoint. I don't recommend that, but it is an option. And to upload the file, it's just like any other upload. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can just you know add the files one by one to each slide. If you're gonna use Audacity or another audio recording software, you'll want to make sure that you're saving it as an mp3 or a Windows media file so that it's in the right format to be imported into PowerPoint. You're also going to want to take some time to edit your audio so that it sounds exactly how you want it to sound so that you can remove those mistakes or if you have too many ums, you'll want to take some time to take those out. Then once you've added all of your audio, you've gotten your PowerPoint exactly how you want it, your pictures are exactly how you want them, it, it's time to save it and you'll need to save it as a Windows Media video. And here's the steps, again, very self-explanatory. You'll go to File, Save As, uh, change the file name, change the type to Windows Media Video. After you've done that, you just upload it to YouTube if that's where you want to host it and that's it I mean it, it's that simple of course you want to play your video back a few times just to make sure it's exactly how you want it you may need to go back and edit it if you've decided to add animations you want to make sure that they're timed properly but that's it it doesn't really take a whole lot of time or effort especially if you're using shortcuts like Visual B That's it. Thanks for watching. This is Keisha at WeBlogBetter.com. Hope to see you there soon.